but uh, and I've become an, a, a very passionate student of economics, politics, and history. And uh, I believe we are we're being unrooted from our history. I, through, the, through my process or my education, I came upon a poem that I'd like to share with you guys. And um, I think this this poem really articulates where we're at today. Um, you know, we talk about freedoms that we're losing. Well, how many have we already lost? How many, you know, we maybe have taken for granted so much that we're gone already, we didn't even notice it. Uh, it really shocked me. The poem's called A Visitor from the Past, and the author's name is Thielen Pollock. He says, I had a dream the other night that I didn't understand. A figure walked in through the mist with a flintlock in his hand. His clothes were torn and dirty as he stood there by my bed. He took off his three-cornered hat, and speaking low to me, he said, We fought a revolution to secure our liberty. We wrote the Constitution as a shield from tyranny. To future generations, this legacy we gave, and this the land of the free, and home of the brave. The freedoms we secured for you, we hoped you'd always keep. But tyrants labored endlessly while your parents were asleep. Your freedom's gone. Your courage lost. You're no more than a slave. In this, the land of the free and home of the brave. You buy permits to travel and permits to own a gun. Permits to start a business or to build a place for one. On land that you believe you own, you pay a yearly rent. Although you have no voice in saying how the money's spent. Your children must attend a school that doesn't educate. And your Christian values can't be taught according to the state. You read about the current news and regulated press. And you pay a tax you do not owe to please the IRS. Your money is no longer made of silver nor of gold. You trade your wealth for paper so your life can be controlled. You pay for crimes that make our nation turn from God and shame. You've taken Satan's number. You've traded in your name. You've given government control to those who do you harm so they can shut down businesses and seize the family farm. You keep our country deep in debt Put men of God in jail. Harass your fellow countrymen while corrupted courts prevail. Your public servants don't uphold the solemn oaths they've sworn. And your daughters visit doctors so their children won't be born. Your leaders send artillery and guns to foreign shores and send your sons to slaughter fighting other people's wars. Can you regain the freedoms for which we fought and died? Or don't you have the courage or the faith to stand with pride? And are there no more values for which you'll fight to save? Or do you wish your children to live in fear and be a slave? O oh, sons of the Republic, arise, take a stand. Defend the Constitution, the supreme law of the land. Preserve our great Republic in each God-given right. And pray to God to keep the torch of freedom burning bright. As I awoke, he vanished in the mist from whence he came. His words were true. We're not free, but we have ourselves to blame. For even now, as tyrants trample each God-given right, we only watch and tremble, too afraid to stand and fight. If he stood by your bedside in a dream while you were asleep, and wondered what remains of the freedoms he fought to keep, what would be your answer if he called out from the grave? Is this still the land of the free and home of the brave? My answer to that is yes. This is still the land of the free and home of the brave. And I'm proud to be here with you guys. And I, I hope you, you've caught on to the cause of liberty. If not, hope you're learning about it. Um, I've taken responsibility for myself and my family, and I'm getting as active as I can. And I'm behind this guy all the way. I'd like to thank the dinner and have something done right now that we've not even planned whatsoever. In light of that poem, it's fantastic. I'm very proud of Chelsea Cole who has been playing with me this summer. We've had a great, fabulous time. Chelsea, as a young teenage girl, started playing taps at military funerals years and years ago. When it's cold, when it's, when it's uh, raining, rain, shine, sleet, or snow, the American Legion and VFW are there to give the veterans their due respects when they, when they are uh, buried. And uh, probably taps wouldn't be too appropriate to play but the guy that she played with for years as Echo Taps, if you've ever been heard Echo Taps, she was always the Echo. Now she's the real thing right up in front. <laughs> but at, after they would play Taps, she would always play Amazing Grace. Play that one time for us. <laughs> Amazing.
Chelsea Cole. 